Hello, this is Ghosty, and today I have another offering from Super 7. This time it is the uh, G.I. Joe Cobra Bat. B-A-T. It's an abbreviation, and I don't know what it stands for. So, um, yeah, this is the Cobra Bat, and it looks pretty good. It looked great in box, so I got it at Walmart. Or was it Walmart? I forgot. I haven't opened him in a bit. Uh, so here he is out of the box. Finally, I finally decided to get to him. And here he is. And he's falling apart at the seams. So, um, let's talk about his holster first. His holster had a strap. That strap is no longer there. Where did it go? I have no clue. It probably wasn't glued in. Also, I tried to use the diaphragm joint, and you try. Oh, yep, there it goes. Whoopsie. So that's that. All right, let's see this backpack. Let's plug this in. So the backpack you can plug in the accessories. Well, if you want to take the accessories out, oh, the insert just comes out. Fine then. Yeah, it's falling apart. Maybe a lack of glue? I don't know. But the diaphragm joint is fixable. You just pop that right back on, and it's perfectly fine. But you can't pose it, or else it just pops off. Now, this head is really loose. And I tried the other head, because with Cobra Commander, one head was loose, one head wasn't. And this head is also pretty loose. Let's see. Oh, but now it doesn't want to move, because it's on camera. It's still pr Oh, yeah. It's very loose. But it can, I think, hold up a pose? Kind of? Alright. So that's good enough, I guess. So let's talk about his accessories. Hold on. And here they are. So many accessories, I can't even have them all in frame. Yeah. So, he has quite a bit to him, which is nice. He has two clenching hands, as you can see. Gun holding hands, more gun holding hands, two guns, an electricity effect, a backpack, an alternate broken head, a regular head right here, this flamethrower nozzle, this drill, saw and clamp, I'm assuming, and this little bomb, maybe, energy pack, but it opens up to reveal some purple spiky nodules pretty cool though pretty cool so how do we use the backpacks well that is fairly simple let's pop the head back on all right so in order to use the backpacks you have to get your figure you can see on the shoulders there are Two holes, right there. So, you get the, your backpack here, and you simply press it down into the shoulder. You have to kind of stretch it a bit. Eventually it goes into the back like that. Very nice. Now you can take that off and replace it with his carrier pack for all of his hands. Not all of his hands, just three of them. He also comes with some fist hands, which is very nice. And overall, he's decent. If I can get him to stand and look forward. Boom. Alright, now let's talk about the articulation. The articulation is fine. 
arm goes up, it goes down, elbows bend, legs kick forward, knees move, boot has movement, ankle has movement, ankle has a pivot. So yeah, pretty basic articulation. Not a lot of range in the arms. That's all you get. But it's a decent enough figure. And here he is next to the Cobra Commander. If he can stand. Alright, cool. He is taller than the Commander, which I could tell just by looking at him. Let's see how he looks like next to some classified figures. Alright, here he is next to my favorite Cobra Hunk. Here he is next to Copperhead. Which is a very nice figure. I really recommend you guys should get it. But yeah, you could tell there's a major height difference because one is 6 inch, one is 7 inch. And it still looks pretty decent together considering that this one's a robot. So, yeah, you can you can fudge them in. You can just get a bunch of these, put them with these. But these are 50 and these are only 20. So who knows? Do what you want to do. Overall, that's it for this figure. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed, but... Yeah, I got him at Walmart. I mean, yeah, Super 7's supposed to be like a really high-end company. But he was 50, which isn't too bad. Considering that the figure still works, it's serviceable. That'll be it. I hope you have a blessed day. Goodbye.